Tonight, an exclusive look at how a 1999 Jacksonville cold case was solved. We told you back in September when William Bear pleaded guilty to the murder of Saad Kawaf. Investigators say while Bear was a detective, he investigated large cash deposits Kawaf made as the owner of a convenience store. It's a case that On Your Side's Katie Jeffries featured in her Unsolved series in February 2019. Now she is speaking exclusively with the lead detective about how they were able to finally close the case. There is something to be learned from every case that is solved. Reflecting back on the Saad Kawaf case that has spanned more than 20 years and concluded with a guilty plea from William Bear, Detective Margot Radigan says it's a good reminder that you never know who your suspect is going to be. To solve a crime, it can take time. Time for technology to catch up with the evidence available. Detective Margot Radigan says the DNA evidence in the Saad Kawaf case was always strong, but initially it didn't lead anywhere. Those profiles were identified back in 2003. Uh, you know, the known profiles, they just weren't linked to anybody. So, and technology just finally was, in, and science was finally coming into play. Genetic genealogy was the game changer investigators needed. In 2018, the cold case unit with the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office decided to reopen the case and submit the DNA samples for genetic genealogy tracing with FDLE. The results came back in 2020. The FDLE laboratory provided detectives with potential suspect names. And it pointed to William Bear, a former detective with JSO. I was shocked at first. And then I became angry, <laughs> you know, it was, yeah, I was mad. Detective Radigan says when she began at JSO in 1999, William Bear was a name she had heard, but they never met. I remember him being a detective in intelligence. I, I didn't recognize a, a picture of him, you know, when we saw it. Um, but then we started, you know, putting everything together. I remember the name, um, nobody in my immediate office at that time didn't know they heard, same thing heard of them but didn't remember them. Um, some other people that I had worked with that I had retired on uh, knew them. Recordings of the first interview with Bear show him as defiant. You know this gentleman right here? Never saw him. Never saw him before? At least I don't remember him. Never? I I never recognized you the name doesn't sound familiar? saying he had no idea why he was being questioned about the murder. You know, I couldn't I couldn't gauge whether he was waiting for that day to come. I mean, he was living a, a normal life. He was out golfing every day and, you know, there was no looking over his shoulder. But Bear's ex-wife, Melissa Jo Schaefer, confessed quickly in her interrogation. Both Bear and Schaefer have since pled guilty to charges related to Saad Kawaf's murder. Detective Radigan, now an agent for FDLE, says she is thankful to have worked this case to see firsthand the science behind genetic genealogy and to have brought justice to the Kwaf family. You never know who your suspect's gonna be. <laughs> you know, you don't know the background. Katie Jeffries, First Coast News, on your side.